new welcome to a new tutorial this tutorial deals with Gerber files for a printed circuit board it is KiCad tutorial 1.15 this tutorial is based on this blog the particulars appear in the description below now today we're going to talk about Gerber files now in general you will have a Gerber file for each layer of your board. This means you will have a Gerber file for each of the front and back copper layers, the solder mast and silk screen and so on. In KiCad, double click on P PCB layout editor, PCB new opens and go on file and click on plot and I've already done this but you go to the plot window opens and you go to the output directory and you navigate to your um, project file which in my case is LTTC1624 video you open a file of Gerber's as you can see I have already done this you select the file pick on select folder and this window opens uh, uh, and it asks you do you want to use a relative path you say ok under included layers you, you see that front copper, back copper, front silk, back silk front mask, back mask and edge cuts are selected you also select under general option plot footprint values plot footprint references X and you also select PC exclude PCB edge layers from other layers in the Gerber options use Protel file name extensions then you click plot and you can see here in this little window in the, where the output messages appear where all your your files have, have been created you can see in the output messages where all your files have been created and you'll see it is the front and back copper layer the front silk screen the back silk screen the front mask the back marks and the edge cut layer file okay now we're going to generate the Draw files, so we click on generate draw files uh, and the generate draw file window opens in the draw file format. See that Xcelon is selected and this click click on, on, on this PTH and NPTH in single file uh, map file format postscript, draw origin, absolute, draw units, inches, zeros format, decimal format. Click on generate draw file, click close and click close to close the plot window and click save. Okay now we're going to check whether test our, our, our Gerber files we open the Gerber viewer by clicking on this icon and the Gerber viewer opens and we select file and we first open the draw file and remember we stored it here of the Gerbers there's the draw file and there we see the draw file of all the draw holes now we open now we open a Gerber file and the first one we open is the edge cuts and open it and we see yeah looks fine uh, this is this blue line here you see all the drill holes are within the boundaries of the edge cuts file now we open another front Gerber file and we 
open the front silk file. You select this file, F silk S, and we see, yeah, more or less lines up with the drill holes. We select the front copper file. This F C U G T L, and we see, yeah, it works out. Ties up with the pads and, and the drill holes and the, more or less with the, the silk screen layout. And last we we open the mask front mask file. We open it up and you can see it vaguely. To see it a bit better, we turn off the front copper file. And there we are. You can see the mask does. This maroon red ties up with the drill holes and the pads of the components and everything looks fine. Now let's do the same for the back layer. I've already loaded the files and what's visible now is the uh, drill file and the edge cut file as before. Now let's turn on the mask file, back mask file. There are the, the there is the silk. The silk is just this little bit here in the corner, it's all which gives us a, a diversion of the um, printed circuit board and the lastly the back copper and there you can see there is the back copper. And as you can see they all line up with all the drill holes so the printed circuit board seems to be okay. Well, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Give this video a like. Click the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.